Of all the ways Kazuma has died in the three seasons of Konosuba, I think last episode was the most humiliating? I don't know. There's a lot of humiliating ways that he died. Actually, the most embarrassing that he died was probably when he got isekai because he like scared himself to death. Because he thought that a girl was getting hit by some kind of bus, but it was a slow running tractor and the shock killed him. I take that back. You're right. The OG death is the most fucking embarrassing. But, you know, getting just gang bodied by the Cobalt suit, ah, it's not looking too good, right? The, the Yusha Ka Kazuma, his, his reputation, ah, I mean, a lot of people are hyping him up. He wasn't able to, you know, deliver on the promises. But it's all right. You know why? Because we have a new quest from our divine goddess. Chris? Sorry, it's Eris. It's obviously now, right? It's Eris is Chris. Chris is Eris. Eris. Everyone is on the same page, right? She's been going around, you know, collecting these mysterious cheat items that's been spread around, which I'm assuming is just because Aqua has been just sending out OP items like that. So Cosmo has been tasked to bring back the um, ancient relics or these OP items. I had a, a mistake last episode. I thought the end... Um, it was still Iris getting punched the fuck out. No, there was a swap. I didn't realize it was Kazuma getting fucked up. I was just too caught up because you know me. What makes me laugh the most? Children getting bullied, children falling over, child abuse. I I, I love that shit. So I, 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 part of me just kind of hoped that it was Iris getting punched like that. It was the fucking ruffians. They're fucking hilarious to me. The huge muscular bulky dude just like going like, oh, it hurts so much. It's actually fucking peak comedy. Now, there is another item, I believe. It's like some kind of summoning item. But then in order to control it, you need to like give him something. Maybe that's going to be covered this episode. Let's begin today's reaction. He swapped bodies, right? And then Kazuma is getting, you know, a farewell to this lavish lifestyle. I guess today's episode is the final one of the, I don't know, hanging out with Ojo Sama. I know, you're higher caliber than me. I love how everyone always has like a fine glass of wine. But Aqua always just fucking carries a bottle. Just straight up a fucking bottle. <laughs> Who the fuck is talking shit? Oh, it's Claire. She's so fucking mean. What the fuck are you angry about? Did she figure out that we were trying to, you know, uh, we were like possessing Iris's body and trying to do that shit? But like, isn't she a literal lollicon? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you shaming us about? You were literally doing it too. She is honestly pretty easy to hate. Oh, who threw that rock? Who is this? Eris. 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 And kill the other person? What the fuck? Yo! Swap. This is actually a fucking cheat. Because, like, I was thinking about, like, the usefulness of this. Like, an isekai character trying to metagame, trying to figure out what's fucking OP to bring. And I'm like, body swap. I'm like, I guess that could be fun for just, like, etchy shit, like the last episode. But, like, this? This is actually, yeah, holy fuck. Yeah, like a goddess or something, right? We should tell a goddess. Why don't we tell goddess Eris? Secret relic, these OP weapon plot arc. It could get deeper than I thought. She does, yes. Sure. We're breaking in? Okay, we're breaking in right now. What you're wearing. <laughs> you're wearing the same shit. Wait, that's a Vanier mask, right? Sketchy employee, yeah, it's Vanier. It's, it's, he got the stars. Cos why you why why you belly button looking like that, bro? What what what, what if, if the lighting was a little bit you know better? Like what what the fuck? What what? what? <laughs> it's it's not you know Dynana OG like Lloyd you know kind of fan service, but like hmm, okay. 
Wait, does this mask actually do what Vanyar's mask actually does and possess that person? He's kind of talking different. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> he won. <laughs> no more minion. It's, it's assisted now. <laughs> and it's not Oyabun. Oh, I thought he won. That's why she stopped calling him minion. But okay, he lost. Kingo. Eris is the goddess of luck? And Kazuma is the luckiest person. Yo, this is actually the best pair. Thematically too, right? Kazuma's, you know, his specialty is luck, right? The only thing he's really good at is being lucky. And she's the goddess of luck. This is actual, you know, pairing, like thematically. They're even matching couple outfits right now. Yo, the soundtrack. What the fuck? Chill, 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 chill. This fucking soundtrack, bro. <laughs> I need to back up a little bit more. I'm, I need, I, I'm sorry. Are you, are you over there? Let, let me squeeze in a little bit more. We need to squeeze in a little bit more because you're not even patting your chest today. This is kind of a tit job. This is like full body boob job right now, right? I think so. I, I think it qualifies. <laughs> oh shit, they found us. Now what? <laughs> Classic freeze combo. He always... The, the... John Smith! Where's Kazuma? Okay. Clear. Oh shit! I thought we're supposed to be lucky. Yeah? Does he have something against Claire? What is this? Does he want like uh he just wants to fuck up Claire right now while he has a chance? What what is this? Okay. It's just because it's clear, right? Get a little bit of revenge, bro. She's been so mean. We should fucking just like... I don't know if we should kidnap the princess, but like... Bring her back to Axel. Become an adventurer. Join her party. Wouldn't that be fun? No, kidnapping a royal princess, like... Terrible idea, right? But... Uh, those are compliments, don't worry, bro. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What? <gasps> the drain! <laughs> the moon is... <laughs> round. <laughs> What is this Chuni Kazuma? But why, why is it peak Kazuma right now? Is there something about him that's different? Is, is it the full moon? Is it Vanyar's mask? Is it, you know, getting, you know, his fucking revenge on Claire? I don't know. But that was fucking sick, bro. What? It's gotta be the mask, right? Performance, Kazuma. Let's go. Okay, literally peak performance. I'm gonna see it's the mask. <laughs> Yo! That is the sussiest dream I've ever. <laughs> Yo, cousin was actually kind of looking like a demon lord general or some shit, bro. <laughs> All the dudes are moaning in such a sus way! <laughs> he's the assistant. I feel like he's even talking like Vanir. Wasn't this soundtrack kind of used when Vanir was fighting? Maybe I'm capping. I don't know. Obviously the mask doesn't like possess him, but I feel like the qualities of the power is from the mask, right? The improved circulation or whatnot. But the, even the persona here, is he just playing around? I, I don't know. It's just like, you know, more of Vanir. Vanir is naturally just super confident, so maybe he's just being confident like that. Crown Prince. Mitsurugi. Mitsurugi, you wanna do this? Mitsurugi, you, you wanna fucking do this before we're round two? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking sell your sword again, bro. Graham, give me that shit, I'm gonna fucking sell it again. Mitsurugi Kyohei! On the cursed sword, Graham! <laughs> fucking...
<laughs> Ikemen, Isekai MC, bro. I was kind of hoping it wasn't Mitsurugi, and it was actually that... Oh, I forgot the name of Iris' brother. But, you know, like the crown prince, right? He's supposed to be super OP. I thought that we might finally see him. Iris just got fucked. Because she's so flat. She thought that she's a boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's why she pads your chest. <laughs> and the, the chest area is a little... Yeah, it's pretty slender. It is slender. Steel! But he's used to it. Wait. He has like... <laughs> couple dolls. So his idea is hiding the fucking sword with other dolls so that Kazuma could accidentally steal one of these things? Okay. And the sword! Sword! That was actually genius! What the... Drain! Water? Kazuma OP, bro! Evil laugh, dude. <laughs> Chris looks actually impressed. Yo, yo, this is great. We should do more of this shit, man. Like, holy fuck. We should have, like, this is fun just, like, role-playing as, like, villains or some shit with the fucking silver hanger, like, thief gang or something. This is great. It uh, looks like Luffy in Alabasta. Round two. The <laughs> evil laughs, dude. All right, it's time to fucking... It's it's time for the fan service. Oh, boy. I wonder what we're going to do to humiliate darkness with... I was hoping that this was going to be... When I saw the sword drop down, maybe it was like Iris' older brother. Darkness versus peak prime Kazuma. <laughs> she, the enemy NPC didn't have a... Didn't even finish their fucking dialogue. You can't just run away from the boss fight without fucking, you know, finishing the dialogue. You, he Bro just skipped the cutscene. Bro just entered boss cutscene place? Nah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's Kazuma. Oh, Iris? What the fuck? Wait, the hero's blood runs through me. Oh, she can protect herself. Okay, I want to see her fight. Let's see it. Yes, it's Kazuma, yeah, uh... She loves it. She doesn't recognize it's Kazuma? Even the bind is cool? Chill! Shiwa-shiwa. Uh, Aqua's alcoholism is getting worse and fucking worse. <laughs> Mega means to raise the by the chuni. What if we steal Iris's pennies instead of the the relic? Oh god. <laughs> I mean, so far, you usually do steal only panties. Anyways, Mitsurugi and Claire showing up. Not convincing, darkness. Double steal! Maybe one steals the panties, the other steals the relic. Cosmo stole the panties. Eris stole the thing. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. But I'm still worried about her panties. Are we gonna survive? Okay, water's there. <laughs> if only Megumi knew that was fucking Kazuma. It is kind of cool, right? The Chuni, you know, fucking fantasy of being like a spy like that. Uh, Iris, what did they take from you other than the necklace? That's right. Darkness and Eris. Sorry, Chris is like super good friends, right? Yeah, it's for the sake of the world. Uh, we 
did it, didn't we? Oh, we did it. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. How are you gonna fucking steal the royal princess's panties? <gasps> Ring! Okay! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow! I thought they would go with the DJ and fucking fan service. Really, it's the royal ring. The ring that's important. That's been, and she even fucking pointed it out saying, This is the ring that's been handed down in my fucking royal family. <laughs> Necklace thing. I thought it disappeared as well. Oh, returning to Iris, we're just gonna keep it forever. Oh, it's like symbolic. Oh, so it's like we're basically like married to Iris now. Oh, 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 it's still better than panties, but. Oh. Bro is really the lolly man, sir, man. This is going to the fucking grave with us. Or it'll literally put us in a grave. He's lucky as fuck. That's his entire thing. This kind of makes it such that he is the, like, legally just, like, according to the law and tradition, he is the next king then. Right? Is that not how that works? I don't know. Well, no, 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 there's a crown prince. He would be like married to Iris and there would still be nobility, but there is a crown prince and he would be king. Iris would not be succeeding the throne as a queen and Cosma coming as king. <laughs> Succession war? Probably not. This, this bitch, bro. We just steal her panties before we leave. Yes, the noble thief. Took down Mitsurugi. We're getting like indirect compliments. When's Megumi gonna figure out that it was Kazuma, man? I kinda wanna flex on Megumi, man. <laughs> Nothing. No Nia Nia. I don't think she knows, does she? Hmm. A van? Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel for him, man. I do want to flex hard, bro. I really want to fucking flex and get all the credit, but uh, we should just take the silent, you know, dub and walk away, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she loves that shit. Oh, oh. Not Kazuma. <laughs> It was, it was Eris. It was Chris. That she. <laughs> Alright, we should get the fuck out of here. But actually, we're lucky there. We're super lucky that we didn't get to throw the fucking ring off there. Darkness saved us, bro. <laughs> Woo! Bullet dodged. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna take that silent L. Yep. Please come back once in a while and tell me your stories of your adventures. <laughs> True. This is a fact. Darkness. Wow. Is she so good recently? Not, not, not really, but probably will be forced to, yeah. I wonder what the devil king is. It'd be so funny if there was a character we already knew. Like the fucking ruffian. Finally! Here comes the jealousy. Megumi really fucking hated how, you know, Iris is calling him Onisama, right? Lolly and Lolly violence time. Yeah, she does. Yeah, Megumi probably will get the killing blow. So many Onisamas, dude. Who would win? <laughs> Perhaps I should overthrow the monarchy with my explosion magic. Maybe we honestly could too. That's the scary thing. If this show wanted to go down a fucking weird twist, like she could kill them. The creator of the explosion. It's the size of the kingdom is more. Come back later with more stories. 
Oh, the chess game kind of things that we were doing before. Lolly Riz. Iris is a very great character. Kind of sucks that she's gone now. We're done. No more Iris. Oh, Chamusuke! Yes? Yes? I feel like Darkness, Aqua. I, I, he, there's nothing like room. I don't know. There, there, are, there are bursts of moments. I, I think Kazuma could, bro. Chris is already in the fucking bag. The ring. This is gonna be something we call back to in the future? I don't think it's really confirmed that she knows or not. The rule to marry, right? Wait, what? You have to slay the demon king? And then you gain the right to take the princess as the bride. I thought that you already just do that, but it's like you get the ring and then I have to prove it. Huh. So, hold up, hold up. Does she now imply that Kazuma, like she knew it was Kazuma and she's kind of hinting at that later? Oh my god! She knew! She fucking knew. I thought that the silver hair thief, you know, reference was just shitting on Kazuma and saying, oh, she loves, you know, Chris more, but... Holy summer. Holy summer. Holy fuck, that should do it. That should do it. She's way too fucking smart. That's crazy. Lolly mastermind. Post credit scene! Alder. <laughs> Who is this? What is going on with Alder? Deep breathing person? Yeah, what is this? A fucking genie? Like, I, the, the character design, I can't really tell because it's very dark and the hair is kind of hidden. But is someone that's supposed to grant Alder his wish? I don't know confused on what the post credit scene was and yes there are two divine treasures that was referenced last episode by chris which was one that obviously is the body swap and the other is the summoning but is this the summon i don't know yeah I, I don't really know yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out next episode today's episode probably the best episode of this season i don't know i i really enjoyed this chris and kazuma duo as thieves like it, it's so fun Peak Kazuma, confident Kazuma just popping off, taking out the hero, Mitsurugi again. It's 2-0, by the way. 2 fucking O, bro. It's gonna be 3-0 in the future. Taking out Claire, taking out everybody. And like the combo steal too. Yo, this episode was fucking peak. I really enjoyed it. The soundtrack was great. The animation with the fighting and the action was fucking great. Confident Kazuma is such a nice thing to see. Darkness just kind of clutching for us too. It's, it's really nice. And then... The twist. Did we steal Iris's panties? No, but we stole the ring. And the ring is like a symbol for someone to be betrothed to the princess, but there's also a condition. The person who slays the demon king then has the right to marry the royal princess. So this is kind of setting up for Kazuma to kind of marry into royalty. Motherfucker is lucky as all hell. Of all the ships, though, I don't feel like pairing Iris and Kazuma it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm going to go to jail. But Chris and Kazuma, I don't know. I think that's like a fantastic ship, man. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.